All right, let's get into a little bit of the nine pound hammer. We're gonna do it in the key of G. of nine pound hammer. So we are in the key of G, so we like to kind of ground ourselves in the key when we're starting, like that. And I'm also going to show you a double stop pattern that we're going to use for the chopping sequence for this song, and that's gonna come a little later in this video after we do the solo. But we're gonna introduce a different pattern. Some of my lessons I've been showing you a double, fin double first finger pattern, and we're gonna do one other really cool double stop pattern that you can use for lots of different keys. And so it's incredibly efficient to learn it because if you learn it for this, you get to learn it for all sorts of stuff. So that'll be cool, so check that out later on in the video. What we're gonna start with here is the melody solo or break, but we're also using this as a kickoff solo. So in the beginnings of bluegrass songs, a lot of times you will hear an instrumentalist play the eight bars of the, you know, the melody of the verse or chorus, and then the singer starts coming in. And we like to keep those a little more simple, a little more straightforward, right on the melody, similar to what the singer is singing. And then later on, we do things a little, little fancier, a little more improv, you know, based. But we're gonna learn our, our kickoff or our melody solo here. So we're getting grounded in G. I like to just sort of tune it in with my open G. All right, and we're gonna start with our Nicky Nick Nick New phrase, which is just sort of a classic series of pickup notes that we do. And that is just the, sim the syllables that you need to give you the idea of the timing. So it's Nicky Nick Nick New, and then that New is the downbeat. So we're gonna do open one, three on the D string. We're gonna go. So O, 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 one, three, and slide that three in a little bit. Don't just land right on it. We need that style, we need that oomph, and that comes from our slides. So we're gonna do A1, open, three, one. So let's put that together, two, three. And then almost the same phrase again, but we're gonna land on open D, so. Welcome to the advanced tutorial for our great song, Nine Pound Hammer, which actually predates bluegrass, but bluegrass, because it is such a combination of genres, does a really good job at finding very cool songs from other places and, and bringing them into the bluegrass fold, and this is definitely one of them. This is certainly, as you can tell, you know, if you've heard the lyrics to this one, it's a, a railroad song, and... Uh, and we still, we still play it in bluegrass today, even though I don't personally know anyone who is building a railroad. But that's okay, because you know it's a cool tune, it's fun to play. So we're gonna get into this, and then later on in the video, I'm gonna show you some fills that you can play for the, uh, in between the, the vocal lines. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna keep this somewhat similar to the melody, but we're gonna add just a few cool elements. And right off the bat, the first thing we're gonna do is add in a hook bow. And this kind of comes from the old time tradition, and we've also got some examples of this in Texas style. So we're gonna do O, 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 and then over to the G string, and bring that first finger in at the end of the, of the up bow, so. And then slide three and keep the open G with it. Like that. Two, three. Now we're gonna slide. So slide one. One, three, one, oh. Slide three. 
Now we're going to slide one, 